Hey guys, Super Dave here. We're standing in front of one of my favorite properties. I'm getting a new metal roof put on it. The asphalt shingles are starting to age out. All of my rental properties, I'm going from asphalt to metal. Once you put a metal roof on it, you pretty much don't have to touch it again. It's just a good product. It's inexpensive, but durable. And that's what I'm doing today. I got a crew down here. They started this morning. It'll probably take them most of the week to finish it. I'm getting my gutters worked on and some other work done. So just out here today, checking out one of my properties. And I thought I'd tell you about the story of this. This house it's the example of when preparation runs into opportunity that's when you have successful situations I was able to buy the property for $25,000 and that was a great price for an in-town lot even that long ago it was hooked up to city water and sewer which I really liked it was in a great location it was near public transportation near the university it was really checking all my boxes and then I was able to find a house off the mountain and I bought it believe it or not for $2,500 it was a two bedroom, two bath modular house, and I was able to cut it in half, put it on trucks, drive it up the mountain, build a new foundation, and drop the old house on top of my brand new foundation. And what I did in the basement was I put three bedrooms and another full bathroom. So I created a five bedroom, three bath home near the university. And the reason I want to have so many bedrooms is something I've talked about in other videos. Every bedroom is more money you're gonna make per month. And on this particular deal, I only had a two bedroom, two bath house. It wasn't gonna work if I brought that house up here and set it on a little crawl space. I had to be more creative and you have to be more creative. I decided to put a full basement, add three more bedrooms and another full bathroom. And I was able to give them an additional living space, an additional hangout spot on the property. And something I learned from this and I learned from a contractor years ago, you can't go out and buy a market valued lot, put a market valued house on it and expect to have any value. You have to find opportunity. You have to find a discount on the land. You have to find a creative way to get an inexpensive house or get it built inexpensively. This one had the double dip. I got an inexpensive lot, I got an inexpensive house, I used my creativity, and I put the whole package together. And the way I found this land and the way I found such a good deal was I was always looking. I always had my radar up. I would let people know I was looking for land to put a modular student rental house on. I was always looking through the MLS and talking to realtors. I was actually a realtor at the time, so I was always searching my system. I was really hungry and I was always searching out that right piece of property. And in this particular situation, some friends approached me because I planted the seed. I went around saying, I'm looking for land that I can put a house on that's zoned for students. And I would say that over and over. Anybody who would listen. So my buddies remembered me saying that one day. They called me and said, hey, we got a piece of land over here. We're cutting it up into five lots and we thought of you. So that's what you need to do. You need to go out there and let people know what you're looking for. Be verbal about it. Let people know you're an investor and that you're always searching for that right piece of land. And then when somebody hears about land, or they have a piece of land, they're gonna think of you. Now, to the house, I had another group of friends who owned a modular home company off the mountain. And I was telling them what I was doing. They knew I was building houses in a college town. And in that situation, they approached me. They knew I was looking for an opportunity to bring houses up to my town. And they said, we've got this guy. He's got a small house on his land. He wants to build a larger modular on the same area, the same foundation, but this house is in the way. It became a problem for him and a benefit for me. So opportunity, I was always out there looking for opportunity. And at the same time, I was prepared. I was qualified at the bank. I had savings in my savings account. I was ready and I was prepared, but I wasn't gonna jump on something too early. I waited for the right opportunity. And these two just came together at the right time. The lesson I'm trying to teach you is, you always have to be talking about what you want. Any situation you're in, social or business, you always have to verbalize, I'm looking for student rental houses. I'm looking for land I could put student rentals on. You have to talk it up all the time to everybody who is around you. And eventually it's gonna click with the right people. 
So if you let people know what you're looking for, they're gonna see it and then they're gonna let you know. All right guys, Super Dave here, hanging out outside, watching a roof go on one of my rental properties, trying to teach you a few things about the importance of bedrooms and the importance of creativity. I hope the video was good for you and helpful. And if you could subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up if I'm adding value and giving you things that you can learn from. It really helps me out on my channel. And remember in your day, do the most productive thing every moment of every day. Good video.